It was Elijah McLean's death in August of last year that his friends are still mourning, but they're also now dealing with that increase in the attention that this case is getting. Some of his friends tell Nine News reporter Sonia Gutierrez that they're worried that the officer's resignation could mean that he will escape consequences. Bright eyed and optimistic. He just had this energy and this light to him. That was April Young's first impression of Elijah McLean when she met him years ago. He was so family oriented. She was his manager at a massage parlor. If you meet his mom and the rest of his family, they all have this very angelic spirit about themselves and you can totally see where he gets it from. He was a person who considered his family before accepting any extra work shift. He played the violin for kittens on like his lunch break. He was smart, gentle, loving. To see somebody full of life and full of potential and opportunity get taken away so soon, it was really, it was really devastating. Elijah McLean died after a struggle with Aurora police officers. The department is investigating whether other officers mocked his death in pictures at the scene taken two months later. One of the officers involved has resigned. What really should happen is there should be a full investigation with no option of resignation. And then at that point, like if, if they are found guilty, they should lose their post certification so they can't be a police officer anywhere. It's something she thinks the police department owes to the gentle memory of Elijah McClain. Let's honor his spirit and let's honor who he was as a loving, kind, friendly person that didn't want to cause harm to anything or anyone. For Nine News, I'm Sonia Gutierrez. And tomorrow there will be another march for Elijah McClain. His friends say that they will continue to call for justice.